everybody. Well, today is Father's Day. This is a picture of my grandpa, Lou. He's a very special man in my life. The man over here is my first father-in-law, Frank Winnie. Here's me with my second husband. Here's me with my first husband, Wayne. Here's my father. And here's dad again. Well, to, uh, to, actually, it's also the beginning of the summer season. As you can see, I'm more flowery because I'm honoring the day of the uh, beginning of summer. We actually started summer today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a meatloaf that my father and all these men absolutely love. We're going to cut in an onion. I went outside today before the rain started, and I actually found a little uh, couple of strawberries growing back there. So, oh, how nice we have a strawberry garden. I love summertime. Oh, it's such a beautiful time of the year. I cut up this onion. I always believe in using by dollars. Okay. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put all kinds of seasoning in here. Okay. I'm going to cut this up. All right. So this time, the onions need to be diced on more, so we're going to have to cut them up into a lot smaller piece than I just put in here. I was thinking about these wonderful, wonderful men in my life, and oh, we had the onions are too big. Not that it would be, it would not taste bad, folks, honestly, but you know. All right. Cut this up, and then we're going to add some more stuff in here, not just onions. But this over here, we're going to add some garlic powder. Okay. Some salt. And now some breadcrumbs. I like to use, I generally use unseasoned red pepper. You can also use Italian if you can't find it in the store. Okay, get this open. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to sprinkle this on here and we're going to add in some milk. Okay, now what we're going to do now is I'm going to put my hand in here and we're going to mush it all together. Every year that I can recall, my father used to have meatloaf on Father's Day. Now this year, folks, unfortunately, there's really nothing much open right now. All right. It's still pretty well frozen. We have refrigerator issues, folks. As you can see, it's very frozen. After being out for almost two days, not out, obviously. We had a refrigerator, but we definitely have somebody coming next week to fix this thing already because everything keeps freezing up, even in a refrigerator, which will not hurt you, obviously. All right. It's better than the refrigerator being too warm, I suppose, but it's very, very cold. But it's good. All right. Okay, we're going to keep this going. And what I'm going to do now is I want to turn this into a loaf. Put this over here. My hands are so cold, folks. I can't feel anything anymore. But anyway, I love summertime. And also, Father's Day has a lot of meaning to it. And also, tomorrow, I forgot, is my youngest daughter's birthday. So everything is at the same time. The beginning of summer. Beginning of summer. Father's Day. And we're not going to have any accents like we had a few days ago. All right. Uh, we're not going to have it look like this. We're going to make this into a loaf. Here we go. This onion's a little bit too big. Uh, all right, whatever. It'll be all right. It's a bright dollar onion. Delicious. Okay. Okay, let me wash my hands before I handle any seasoning because I'm not done with my seasoning yet. And then we're going to add some delicious stuff on top of the meatloaf. Yeah, but it's really sad this year that we really can't really go out much. Put some salt on here, a little bit of more garlic powder. Let's get rid of this nut because we have kitty cats. We don't want to take any chances. Now, what I want to do now, folks, is I'm going to put on tomato sauce. Okay. There we go. This is how my men folks love this, so this is what they're going to get. Now, on top of the tomato sauce, well, make sure my hands are clean. I don't want to put anything into the brown sugar at all. Just gonna grab some soap. You can't take chances with food uh, to get anything. I'm going to make sure my hands are dry before I touch the brown sugar, obviously. Okay. Like I said, these men had a lot of meaning to me. All, the, all these wonderful men, obviously. I do remember my grandpa Luke, for example. But unfortunately, I had a grandpa Phil, and I have no photos of him. He died before I was born. A shame. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some water in it because we don't want this cooking at all. Put some water in here. A little bit more brown sugar. Is that it? This is how all my men liked it. So all my, like my father, my first husband, my second husband. And we're going to bake this for about a good hour. We'll be putting in about two or three teaspoons of brown sugar. I actually came up with this recipe myself. This did not come from 
my mom, I came up with it. So anyway, for these wonderful men in my life, my, uh, let's see, my father was in the travel business. He loved the great outdoors, fishing, he loved to do everything outdoors. He loved animals, especially he loved animals so much. Now he's going to put just a little bit of milk, I would say about a quarter of a cup. There we go. But he, uh, and let me see, my first husband, on the other hand, was in the theater just like me. He actually played opposite me in a play called Dracula. Put this on for about 30 seconds. Let it heat up a little bit. And you know, we're going to get everything out and start, you know, dinner. My, my, let's see, my first father-in-law was in the business. He was, of course, my manager. My second husband liked the Yankees. The baseball, he misses baseball. Unfortunately, this year we have no, we have absolutely no sports at all. So it's really sad because, you know, I know how much these men love sports, you know. Maybe we'll have it soon, right? So they, all my men seem to like meatloaf. Okay? And meatloaf is best served with mashed potatoes, but you can also, if you can, if you can also serve it with egg barley. My mother used to make it with egg barley. It was such a wonderful, wonderful treat, but can't find it anymore, okay? Okay, also green beans. These are wonderful, wonderful men in my life, and I'm the only one that's still with us is my first husband, excuse me, my second husband. Now, this actually came from me. My mom never created this uh, rest, uh, delicious sauce. I did. I came up with it. It's made with tomato sauce, three teaspoons of uh, brown sugar, and a little bit of milk. And here we have, this is my Father's Day from Devil Way Tom Country Kitchen. Have a very happy Father's Day, Dads.